guys, so you often will ask about choosing arteries for injecting. So this really is a personal choice for the embalmer, what artery they choose. When I learned to embalm, I learned from someone who had been taught and who forever used the axillary, which is the one that's right in your bicep. Um, and that was where they did the full injection was from the axillary. Not really the artery of choice for most embalmers though. Um, for the most part, people use the carotid, which is in your neck. However, I do know a good number who will inject from the femoral, which is down right outside your groin in your leg, and that's where they'll inject from. They choose that one for a number of different reasons, but one may be cosmetic, so that way you don't have any incisions on the neckline to worry about, and that's why they choose to use the femoral. Another big, big one is do a bra strap incision. That means rather than right here, you're going to cut in out here where the bra strap is. From there, you get to the subclavian artery. This means you're going to be able to inject out into the arm better, up better, into other areas. You get bigger dispersion and it's also cosmetically, the incision is gonna be out to the side more so you don't have to worry about that incision right up here in the neckline. However, no matter which artery you in choose to inject from, you may run into poor dispersion and may have to raise more than one injecting point, like a radial in your wrist or somewhere else. So artery choice is completely up to the embalmer. Usually what they learned while they were an apprentice and who they embalm with to become maybe later their artery of choice. So ask the next embalmer you meet what artery they like to inject from because you may get a variety of different answers.